Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Thank you. Blessed evening. Yes, we can get started. Blessed evening. Mwacho mabwanji. Kaya ya kuna mro mozambi ya buwela kuno, buwela kuno. Mm. Wina zaka mwadira na mro mozambi, buwela kuno, buwela kuno. Kansi wa kukumbira manda. Anyway, my brothers and sisters, blessed evening this evening. As you have all seen the title, I greet all of you and welcome all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I am making this video specifically because I love to speak the truth and I also hope the truth and also pray that it elevates and helps somebody to come out of bondage and fear so they can stand. And most of all, that's what the gospel is about. When you see evil, speak against it. When you see wickedness, speak against it, stand against it and stand for love and the truth. This evening I'm making this video because I see that the Zambians, just like people on, online here, people never put the whole context. They like these meme memes. It's a generation of lies, false witnesses and tellers. They cut things in short. So I want to come and speak so that if anybody needs to find out the truth, let it come from my mouth and what comes out of me, you can come and hold me responsible. And specifically, this one is for the Zambian music industry. I want to speak, and because I have Zambians on both platforms, I didn't want to do on the big page. I just wanted to be on the small one, but because there are also Zambians on this other page. This evening, my sisters, I want to speak. As you all know, I am Rachel Bota, born in Zambia, Losaka. I am a Zambian. Both my parents, my mom was half Congo, half Zambian, and my dad is full Zambian. My biological mother was Zambian, but my stepmother was half Congo, half Zambian. I come from a big family, like all of you know, and I've been singing since the age of five. Yes, I sang and did music better than I could speak. My speech was even slower, but my music and the, the creation, the gift of music, I knew it from that age already, and my father knew it, and he hated it, and my family didn't like it. I started singing very young, and I've worked with different people, different people, artists in the Zambian industry. And I want to put this video out there because the reason why when I speak to stand up for Ivanka Bianca, because what Ivanka Bianca said is not something that is new. It is something that is known in the Zambian music industry, but there are a lot of people who don't stand and speak against this, against that rubbish. Hi, Sister Shalom. There are a lot of Zambians who know exactly what is happening. Producers, video makers, people who know the truth, they pretend. I'll speak from my story because that woman has been in the industry in a different way, but I'll speak from me. The first thing I'm going to ask all the Zambians is, am I talented or not? Am I talented or not? I'm not trying to be full of myself or bogus. I'm asking, am I talented or not? When you look at me in the Zambian industry, if you would close your eyes and put me in the industry, am I not talented? So that's not a question. I worked with PJ. I remember we used to even go to Mtendere. If some of you know a producer, I don't know if he's still, still in that same place in Mtendere. I don't know where he is, Vokiano. No, this is okay, baby. My husband is also watching and listening. No, baby, this is good. I like to be seeing my head. It's better to see my head. There's a producer whose name is called Vokiano. Those of you who are Zambians, 
you have known about Vokiano. Vokiano used to stay in Mtendere. He was one of, he was a lovely producer because Vokiano was not just about music. He was also about the vibe. Especially when we were all fighting to make it in the industry. I've worked together barefoot in Mtendere. Tipita pa China makumbuyo kuja pa levi mwanawasa manji. Chi hotel chija chiri pa kona. I have forgotten even the name of the hotel. It's a long time ago. Tenzo inda na mendo. Na PJ. Vene vokiano. Tachitacho kamanje ku student center. Olo kupolo gri utachiko perform. I was in the generation with PJ. My album that I made with Dish to X. PJ was one of my co-writers. We were doing everything together in the studio. I remember very well. I fought for my career and it never just got a chance. Even K Figo found me at Digital X before she came. But you know the way it is. If you look at me, I am black toned skin and I'm not beautiful as the way the world des describes it to be beautiful. But I was used for creating music for other people. Yes. That's what made me follow the Zambian industry, industry music because I thought somebody is going to finally give me a chance to also do what? Have a shot at my own career. That's why I followed the boys, PJ. Hmm? I followed the boys, PJ. PJ knew, knew me very well. Before we even met Redo, PJ and me, we used to be in Kaunda Square, Zaki Studio. Zaki, if you are, if you are there, call me out. I remember the first song we featured together where PJ had in Kaunda Square Stage 1. There is a Chimfana, Chimaimba, Chirecho Bota. That's how PJ found me. We went to the studio. I remember we did a kasingo, a song. It was about love. Zach, if you have that song, send it to me. I would love to just hear how it sounded when we were teenagers fighting to be in the industry. That's how back we go back. And then we separated PJ Metredo. And by the grace of God, PJ made it. But PJ became like the writer. Redo would listen to PJ. PJ would put ideas and Redo would just put them in the computer. And this is the truth and no lies. I met another boy named Mo. I remember Mo, even the late Lily T before she died. The last album she was going to make, she was working with Mo. There's a song that Mo wrote for her. So I want to speak the truth because even people like Sutu, can't you imagine how come my talent has shined now that I'm in Europe, even on the street with just a microphone. But I was in the studio night after night. It never shined. There's a lot of jealousy and wickedness in the Zambian music industry. I don't know about the gospel, the gospel scene, but I've heard it from a couple of gospel artists that it's also like that when it comes to jealousy, they endorse one another. It's either you are in, they have welcomed you or not. And you, if you are not lucky, it's not even about you. It's, if they don't like you, then they don't like you. So I want to talk about this industry because there are a lot of Zambian girls whose talents right now, whose talents are rotting producers are stealing from them as they used to take us in the studio we used to follow anyhow you know how how hurtful it hurts some of you are calling us mad me i used to walk from kaunda square stage one sometimes with legs made no no transport money walking to go to olympia where digital x was i sat with that boy redo and he knows that i'm a very loyal person and a hard-working person and a talent too he knew it from the first day that Thelma took me there. Thelma, my friend from Kaunda Square, is the one who introduced me to Redo. She took me to the studio one time. Redo was looking for somebody for a chorus. Thelma tried to sing because Thelma was singing. Redo said, let her sing. I sang and that's how Redo loved it. And I met another guy who died. His name is Roger. His name was Roger. I met Roger there. They discovered that I was talented just the same as PJ, if not more. Very creative, put a beat on. I know that boy to the point where we used to sit and laugh like a brother. So the industry is cruel. I can only imagine to people like Ivanka Bianca what he did to her. But I want to speak because even women like Sutu, it hurts me. I backed Mampi up, following Mampi, town, city after city. 
never paid, not even one. And that's what the evil industry of the Zambian industry is. It takes money from you and it never pays you anything back. That if you see people making careers and making money, you think, oh God, how do they do it? This industry takes from you. I remember I used to cry when I worked with women. Lady T was a woman. I never worked with Lady T, but I spent time with her. She was not greedy and she was not a wicked soul. She really wanted to pave way. And I believe that if Lady T was still alive, she would have helped me to stand strong in the industry. But this other sister, ma'am, I go mention names because I'm not afraid. I never worked with somebody who is so selfish and greedy and jealous like that one. She knew that I was talented more than her. And she knew that I was blessed. And the anointing, standing in the spirit of a Jezebel presence, it, may, it brings confusion, especially if you don't know who you are and what is inside you. So she played both. Not even one way. I can't lie. Those of you who know about this, I can't lie. And I also feel sad that her, she doesn't come out to speak for Ivanka Bianca because even her, the, the industry, the Zambian industry has seen her in and out. It has eaten her in and out. Yes, your queen differ, ma'am. The industry has also eat, abused her in and out for her to be where she is there. I don't know why she became cold. She forgot what she went through. She went through a lot of things. So in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, this, I was sitting one time in the studio. I heard it from my own mouth. With my own ears, I mean. Big industry man called her out. How they were exchanging. Everybody know the truth. But you want to judge Ivanka Bianca. Because you've got big names. I want to speak with this Zambian music industry. It's the most dangerous and sick one that I ever, I ever dealt with. Because even when I came here to Europe. You can't hide what God wants to shine. I earned my money. I was not an artist with a name even here. But every time I hit the stage, I got paid really well. Respected because they respect talent. So in the Zambian industry, even the women, the women who have got careers, when you think of Kachanana, why do you think Kachanana ever made it in the industry? Do you think of girls like Kachanana? Do you think of women like Kachanana? Because Kachanana is one of the most talented women you have. But I'm chinga Kachanana. And she didn't succumb to their level. And when I look at the other woman who made it in the industry, Salma, she made it because her skin, her beauty spoke for her, whether you like it or not. And her status helped her. But girls that are black skinned like me, like this, Sutu, where are they? Mm, what's this other sister? Is it Chile? This big sister, she makes Kalindura music. What do you think happened to them? If you look at Angela and Yenda, they have strong careers because they already had support and backup. So many women in the industry have been hurt. Even Viola is talented. Why didn't Viola become big? Industry Yipa. And to the Zambians, the way you support who you want to support. Me, you have rejected me. But how does the world look at you? Because when people look at me, even producers across the world, if they talk to Dre's, they allow, they allow me to use their beats. While I'm on my life here, worshipping under their beats, and Universal wants to claim it, and they allow me, and they collect their revenue. I believe from an artist to an artist, it means respect that you people don't have. And that's why the industry is just made out of hate and spitefulness. There's a lot of wickedness. Even Manas could not stand that industry. His heart was too good. The Zambian industry is made for those who are ruthless. It's a shame. So from my own experience, 14 years of following studio after studio, produce after produce, nobody looked at me. Nobody kept their word. Even when you gave them money, they will still take your money and chop and will still not fulfill their way. 
And the way Zambians can reject you, even the people you know personally, people that you fed. Once a combo cones, Kufuno cones, some language, Pokombo cana, Kuichaida. So let me speak the truth. For you Zambian girls who want to make it in the industry. There are a lot of good guys, even the producers. Sometimes I think they are good guys, but they will not help you to the help that you think. I know that if I, if I had somebody to allow me to shine, but it is the will and the purpose of God. It's a shame. It's a shame because a lot of women in the industry are going through a lot of, a lot of abuse and a lot of free labor. Free labor. And let me tell you, they say money really makes people wicked. You could see people poor, sleeping on a mattress that is torn and a bed that is broken. Today you see them, they are, they, they, they are boosting. And you know the most painful thing is hearing songs that are yours, that no one will never believe you or ever understand and know the truth. But they are now under another different artist. And this artist is collecting bread for their children. So, Tenzo Lida, we cry. Because to you it's nothing. That's why you're calling that woman Ivanga Bianga mad. But for those who have been given the gift, even if it's not a gift, what you put work in and time in, nobody should steal it from you. So I pray that a lot of you are going to understand because I see the video that you took. You are cutting it in between. Go on, come and hear the truth. The industry is ruthless. It's not easy. It's not easy, that industry. It's already been established. But Zibana, even the DJs, you have to pay them money. And even some of them that you pay money, they will collect your money, but they will never play your songs. And these are people who have no shame. You see them online, living life to the fullest. Going to sleep and waking up well, well. No conscious. No shame. I know it very well. I almost gave up on my talent. And I was so stupid. Even when I arrived in Europe here, I still wanted to work with Redo and Tiki. They burned me to the ground, disgraced me, ruined one of the biggest deals that I'd made here. When they say enemy of progress, your own people that you want to bring them to the table, let's bring the white people and let's make this a bang. Make this for me, pay them money, time to deliver things. They don't show up. And these people live their lives. And when you talk online, these men laugh. They laugh at you. But it's the truth. Let me speak up for any other Zambian girl. Who is one or who is young? Please, if you are really talented, don't go the route I went in. It will hurt you and it will just bring you nothing. Instead, wait for the Lord's time. Because they will they will take your money, they'll promise you, they'll tell you we are making album for this one. If those who know about having a 10 in the studio, when a producer wants to help an artist and you make a deal with them. They finish up to the end. But you know how some of these producers are wicked. They can make the artist hang. And thank God that things are changing now. People can have, have more power. The industry is, is being sort of destroyed. But that's where the problem is coming. I want people to know. It's not easy. And it's a true thing that is happening in this Zambian industry. And I believe it's not just Zambian industry. Probably it's the whole industry. And that's why women who are on the top, they are really bitter. We understand. Some of you have to break back. You have to eat nyash. You have to suck something. You have to take your clothes and your underwear off. You have to kill actually to get that promotion. Mm -mm. Look at what I was crying for. I was crying to, to be a career. I have one million views on my songs. Sis, this is not even songs. I can come on live and I carry traffic by the power of the Holy Ghost that is more than one million. And I've not even spent a cobble, even the album that I went. I was crying for studios 
that were still being developed. God honored me. He took me to a studio. You know when they say studio? He took me to a studio. He made me record like in the way that I never even expected. So I want to tell these young girls that are coming out, learn from Ivanka Bianca and learn from me. And those of you women who sleep with people in the industry, I'll say this direct. There are a lot of you women who have slept with somebody to make it in the industry. This is a lesson just like for Ivanka Bianca. Whether you sleep with somebody or not, if God said you will make it, you will make it. Look at us. We have not slept, not even with one man. <laughs> God said I'll make it. I made it. God said I'll make it. I made it. With no breaking back. Yes, with no warming bed. And without stealing anybody's idea or anything. Those of you also artists who go to producers and the producer plays you a song and you hear there's a voice of somebody else and they tell you take over the song. Remember before you sing the song, ask yourself, is the owner of the song okay with it? Because that's something that Raido is very known for. And Tiki, a lot of people are singing other people's songs. I'm telling you the truth. A lot of people are singing other people's songs. The last time he sent me those two songs, I'm thankful to the Lord that I didn't put them out because somebody else wrote those songs and I don't know if he paid them, even if I paid him the money and Fernando is my witness. He's the one who sent him the money, even TK through Western Union. So those of you who are so mean, you think you are clever by building your careers on top of other people. Producers can be ruthless, but artists, we shouldn't. Because a producer, let me tell you one thing. He doesn't have a heart. Yes, because if we had producers who have hearts, the industry would have not been this cold. The whole entire world is an industry because producers want to make money. A producer should be proud and should be humbled and glad with their work. Not because they are earning money. Those of you that they were giving you songs of other people, that, that thing, let me tell you, it hurts. It, I don't dislike Kay Figo, but I was so disappointed that they could convince her to take a song that was already mine. So I thought it was weird. I thought it was wrong. And I thought it was mean. And I thought it was sad that they were sharing and making her listening to my stuff when I never went in the studio for hers. That's, that's wrong and that's cheating and lying. And those of you who sleep with people, because you are beautiful. Learn from Ivanka Bianca. You see, these producers and these men will find something new over and over. I know that this is true. There are some women who sleep with men. The reason why I didn't make it even with some producers that I can't even mention names here, they tried to have sex with me. They tried. But me, I was like a tomboy. And I was so ghetto and wretched. There was nothing sexual attractive about me. And I did not take that, that rubbish well. If you do that rubbish, the whole industry will know that you're a pervert. You like to touch, touch. I used to blow the whistle. But we also know, just like backup artists, there's a lot of this. The producer is knocking you. After they finish knocking you in bed, they make you a nice song. That's how some of your female singers, God punished them because their careers was made behind a bedroom with legs up on top which god will ever bring them and where so to all of us let's learn whatever you are doing if it's a real music career you are meant to have sister i am old they say but god says i'll have a music career like i never thought i would have god's time is perfect this is what i want to say to people do not rush for anything. Do not burn other people's lives for you to benefit. Do not steal from others for you to gain. Do not sit on the backs and the works of others because it will not, it will not generate you anything. You might think you are winning, but sooner or later you're going to find out it was not even a solid foundation. Whatever is built in wickedness, shall also die in wickedness.
and whatever career is built on lies, it shall also die on lies. And women in the industry, gospel and secular, whatever you want to say it. I pray we are going to have more women who are going to have integrity, a, a, a little bit of moral and self-respect. If you are talented, you don't need to take your underwear off. The reason why I used to refuse to take my underwear off, why would the producer sleep with me? But when I sit there, he just made a beat that I never heard of. And when I go in there, I make a song from start to finish. So why should I take my underwear off and allow him to touch me? I always believe my talent will speak for me. And most of them told me, your talent is not going to take you anywhere. But they know I'm talented. They know that. I know producers that have got respect. Jerry Fingers. Jerry is one of my friends. It's just that Zambians will never accept you. But today, if I become on top, Jerry will say I'm his friend. It's just the, the, top, the, the way they behave. So please, don't do this thing, women. Have manners. Don't take your clothes off because every time a woman sleeps with somebody and in the industry opens the door for them, they expect all of us like that because I know the queen divas, they opened legs because I heard it in the studio, big men saying, if you want to make it, you're going to have to do what she did. And they would make fun of her. She can't even say nothing. Come out here, come and say, I'm saying lies. Sue me. I'll fly to Zambia, actually, and come in Zambia. People can keep me in a special place. I'll come and speak the truth. Sue me. Because the Queen Divas were opening legs. This is the truth. Legs for big industry men. People played with you. So they thought all of us are going to be the same. That's why I know that Sutu had a hard time to make it. Kachanana. Most of the women with talent who have had time to, especially... If you are not rich, you don't have money like Salma. It's different. Then you will not have no opportunity. Women, our talent can speak for us. And it, that's why we should also have women producers. We shouldn't just have women men producers. We should also have women. I'm telling you the truth. Because this thing that we are doing, it will not take us anywhere. And it's killing the, 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 the whole aspect of men and women working together. <coughs> I believe men and women can work together. I've worked with Ethel, Ghetto Link. Good studio, good guys. There are a lot of guys that I've worked with that don't have inappropriateness. Let's respect ourselves and this industry. I just pray that something is going to change about the Zambian industry, especially towards women. Because I know that for women, mm, for women, the industry is harsh. It's harsh extra. And for women who are so-called not beautiful like me, whether you have talent or not, God bless you with a St. Michael. You be a sister D that you marry. Find a man who is in the industry with you that he loves you for your natural beauty and he helps you. That's why sister D made it. But if you are not beautiful and cute that they can knock you, mm, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. They will not help you. And also what I've realized even with the Zambian industry itself, even the big artists, even when they know that you have a talent, it's not a lot of times that the Zambian artists want to help somebody who's got talent. I've seen this. You actually don't need to have talent because I learned when they chose Kefigo over me because Kefigo had more to offer and I think she had the bag and me, I was looking like this. So it spoke for Zambia. I guess it says what the Zambian popularity loves. Hmm? Praise the Lord. But I see there's this woman who is, who is making a new change and a new wave. I pray there will be more ways coming in. More Angela Nirendas that will come and stand alone because Angela Nirenda did not stand alone. Angela Nirenda had the back to stand on. Sakala Brothers made Angela Nirenda. They helped her to start being established. I pray that a lot of Zambian producers who are going to see this and DJs, you are going to help these artists that 
you will not benefit anything from sexually, but help them because they are talented. Because Zambia has a lot of talent. Just like I don't understand this Salma the Great. As much as I'm not for secular music, Salma the Great is trying to open doors for you people to go in. Your friends, the Nigerians, the way Salma the Great is, is going there, this should have been booming. But I believe our country is so spiteful and hateful that even when Salma the Great is hitting where she's hitting, I see no support. I see no support. I really pray for love for this nation. Because the industry is you people. And for people to know your country, they will know you through music. They will not know you through your language. That's all. They know Nigerian music. They don't know your music. They can't value your music if you don't value your music. Nigerian people, when you go in their country, I went to Nigeria, you will never hear Western music. Nigerians, they play their music 24-7. Whether it is secular or gospel, they are enjoying their songs. This industry is an industry of jealousy. Even those that you think are friends, they are always shedding one another. Kui China, they is hating one another. They are waiting to see who falls. And that's why everybody, if people loved PJ, they would have helped PJ. But everybody benefited from PJ musically. But nobody ever said, let's take PJ sitting down so that he can stop drinking because the drinking was extensive. Because he drank together 24-7 with Slab Dinka on that square. But Slab is alive. Our want That's why I'm not Because has Ziva. Angakuza tinkala palikan kweri nikangena zaku puliga. Wonse uzangala so wazapita one million once wazangena. Kulipia zapi nda muga kutia kunyamune manja. Uza embekeza mai wanga. Ndiye chalo chato. Elu nzafu nsa. Are we proud? Are we proud? Is it good? Is it good? And also what is so spiteful, some of us are breaking barrier kids. The world is hearing us, our talents. Your hearts are so spiteful that even when I'm doing great, you cannot just support and say, oh, our sister is doing great. You will steal the same people who take my clips and still come and comment wicked things. You have not supported me in Zambia. God is making me now. I am going in places where that... Places where I did not even know I would go. You people are always down there. Ah, you can never say anything good. You will not support, but you will destroy also not for me to rise. That's the industry and that's the people. So to all the women, I pray for you all. For me, I know that I will make it no matter what because God has blessed me with a gift and he knows that my gift has made homes and fed people free. Nani wana wanga saza valika kutiwa nkali na njani. Na hivya saa wanvelela chifundo mnu ujufwa mnu unuwa chifundo. That's why nani and daddy isa manja. So, no matter what age you are, God will make a way. Don't do anything that is bad. Don't, don't hate others just for you to make it. You will not go anywhere. And when you are going up, look at the people down because those are your people. You hear me? I pray that to all of you, you have heard what I mean. And to those of you Zamian people who are going to be seeing this video, viral videos going viral, just, just comment to them that are they happy? Because even in this moment, it can never be anything serious and good. If there are Zambian women crying to their own people, are you not supposed to listen to them? So what is this smoker? Me, when you make me go viral, I just need you to know. I already have got a half a million this side. And I've got 133,000 here. They are just doing me well. TN viral. <laughs> uh, my brothers and sisters, yes, so have a blessed night. Make me go viral. I just put more money in my bank. That's the truth, I'll tell you. You know, be lie. Because you know me, I'm in Europe. We are not in the country of where social media is just a game. This same social media, the Lord has given me benefits to it. 
when you people are talking about me the whole day. Ah, mungu wakuti uzapanga, uzaipanga my wanga. Please, na papa tabuiran. And it will be actually a good timing because my my Akini sisters, the Kenyans, started the book. If you people follow, ah, whatever God wants to do, before you know it, I believe before the year end, I'll be on a stage somewhere with CC Wine singing, What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Oh, nothing compares to him. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. Sister Sharon, I want to slang. I want to speak British English. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. My brother, brother Austin, I'm coming to Nigeria uh, between December. I'm coming to Nigeria. I have a concert there, my brother. At the Como. I have a concert. I cannot announce it until they send me the banner yet. So I, I'll be coming to Nigeria with Sister Sharon. By the will and the grace of God, everything goes how God wants it to go. I'll be in Nigeria soon, yes. And I'll be in Belgium also in a couple of months from now. So, brothers and sisters, this is what I wanted to say. Please, I hope this message reached somebody. Yeah? And I hope to all of you whose stories have not been heard. Your time is not finished. Me, there is a lot of things that I cannot even talk here. They are deep. But let me tell you, God has met me at the right time. He's making me. I cried for years to God. I cried to him. I said, oh, so my, my career, my talent was just to make others build, become famous and do well. But me, I'm suffering. The Lord said, no, not possible. Look at Rachel Bolt. <laughs> Oh, you, yes, oh, you, yes, oh, oh, you, yes, oh, you, yes, oh, you, yes, oh, you, 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 yes. That's what I call the Lord. You know, when the Bible says, whatever the enemy meant that for you, the Lord will use it for good. Let me tell you one thing, sisters. I cannot give a soul. The Lord using this shamboko for me very good. Let me tell you, he oiled it. With garlic oil and onion gaur. <laughs> so, I pray that you get what I mean. All of us, whether you're in the industry or not, if you have to get a contract, a job, or anything in your life, a relationship, that you have to step up, step over others. In that moment when you're doing it, it looks like nothing. But I promise you, even me, I need to know, and you, you need to know. It will come back. And it doesn't hide. And God sees everything. And I also want to say one, one boy in the Zambian industry that needs to be given credit is called Mo, Mo Mani. Mo is a very talented boy. Every studio, every producer, every musician, everyone, they know Mo very well. I just don't understand why Mo has never been allowed to, to be blessed like that. And every time Mo try to do good, it's like they just block him for no reason. Mo Mane is a talented boy. He's so talented. He's like on PJ's level, so creative, but not just talented as a producer. Mo can sing and key and timing. Those of you who are real musicians, because there are some musicians like my sister, K, you can be made. And there are some musicians like me, PJ and Mo. I'll say it loud and clear. Just the same as Queen Diva. You are born with it. Queen Diva added extra to, to be a performer. But Mambi is talented. Tachanana is talented. There are some people who are born with talent. God gave it to them that no matter what this world does, nothing will ever shake it. It's just like my talent now. 
That's why I asked when I started this video. Am I not talented? If you think I am blessed with a gift of music from God, then ask yourself, why didn't I make it in the Zambian industry? If it's talent, you need to ask yourself. So please, brothers and sisters, in whatever you do, don't accept things that will have to put others down or have to hurt others so you can build it for you because it will never be a solid foundation. Just like when you take a married man, he might marry you. The marriage will be there for 10 years, 20 years. But one way or the other, something has to come back. Because remember, the foundation is not a ground. It is on tears of another person, another woman. And when we do wrong things to people, even if social media doesn't know, if you yourself, you know, and the conscious of the Holy Spirit and of your soul in you knows the truth. Don't be a big mouth to show off and even try to act. The Lord says it's better to humble yourself because when you humble yourself, God takes it into accountability that, oh, in that moment, my child humbled himself. If you make yourself pompous, it will just backfire because if it's the truth, and you even you yourself know. It don't matter if these people on Facebook don't know. That's why God, when it comes to the story of David, those of you who know the Bible, mm -hmm. when David messed up with Bathsheba, you see the fear that was in David. That's how Psalms 51 came to manifestation. It was out of that fear and distinguish and dismay is that David thought, I will lose my relationship with my God. And he knew that God is a fair God when you ask for mercy. And from that story of David, it tells me if we have done wrong things, we have built wrong foundations. Instead of acting like I don't know, don't wait for things to go bad. Don't look at your life when it starts going bad, that's when you want to fix it. Right then and there, actually. Go and ask for mercy. Humble yourself and apologize. Do like David. Be. Do like David. Ask for mercy. Ask for forgiveness. Make it right before people. Because before God can forgive you, people need to forgive you too. And if you know that your own is making people cry and bleed. Brothers, sisters, you cannot live life like that. It's a lie. It's a shame. This industry is wicked. Even here, this one, my brother here, that I see here, baby, advantage baby. I believe this is Titus. Titus is talented. More than a backup singer. I pray he's the one who chose to be a backup singer completely because he's more than a backup singer. When God gives you the gift, is the gift for you. Use it. So to all of you, please, I beg you, this is no lie. And if you are me or anybody, if today God makes me big and he gives me a stage, the first thing that I want to do as thanksgiving to God is invite gospel artists that are not known across the whole entire Africa to have worship and praise together. Those of you who do good, if you are a Danica and you have a Titus, remember to also pull a Titus up. Because maybe in your career, you might need a Titus to carry you. That's why if you look at the Bible, every great man empowered the other man that stood next to him. Because that's how fair God is. Hmm? That's how we should be living. If you're in the music industry, if you're in your maps, lift somebody. Mom, sister, wanga. Baku itana queen diva. You are the biggest woman in the music industry, they say, when it comes to the young generation. Angela Nirenda. You people need to learn to lift others. Remember how it is to start music career. Don't become comfortable when you sit on top. Eh? Start remembering to lift others up. Rachel Nanyangu. Chireshe.
the esters. Learn to lift your friends up. Because the industry is for all of you. Even make more if you allow others to shine. Because you all have gifts that are different. A gift, your gift is totally different. God gives all of us sufficient, full enough, no, no segregation, no apartheid, no partiality. Fair, just, equal, righteously, and love. Learn to start lifting others. Don't like to sit on top because there's no man who sit on top. Even kings, that's why they are the trusted man. And those kings, when they stopped being kings and the trusted man became a king and they said, let's kill this king. The trusted man said, don't kill my king because he was good to me. You will never know who will save your life. And this is just the truth. So I pray you have a blessed night. I'm not going to stay long. I just wanted to come and talk about this because I see the Zambian people taking my video, tagging the whole internet. I said, God, you see, that's the problem. Even when you speak truth, and you speak clear things. They still never learn. For them it's always party time. Mockery time. And bully time. Ah! God help us. May God bless all of you. Have a blessed night. I'll see you people tomorrow by the way and the grace of God. Let me carry the go with my husband. Shalom. Be very careful. Establish things well. This is DJ Mutati Exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.